Hello everyone, so for today's video I'm going to be showing you everything that I've bought recently and some of these items I bought like months ago back in like October time and some of these things I literally bought yesterday so it's kind of over the past few months basically. So I will just get started. I am going to start with Primark and everything here i got a few days ago um when i went shopping apart from the first thing that i'm gonna show i got this about a month or two ago i think and it is this white fleece i know that these are quite popular because i've seen them a lot on tiktok um and when i went in a few days ago they didn't actually have any so i don't know if they sold out whether they're coming back uh what's going on but it's just a little fleece, well a big fleece because I did get it in a 2XL because as we know I do like things about mid thigh length but this isn't actually the length that I want but it is long enough. I do really like it and it was £7. So the next few things are just kind of like boring basic sort of things but I thought I'd still show them. Um, first up we have two pairs of leggings. And these are the comfiest leggings I've ever worn. They're not the super cheap ones from Primark because they are the £4 each ones, which are still super cheap. But like, I know that they do ones for like £2.50. But after a few washes, those become really tight. But these ones literally stay the same. I'm not sure what material they are, but I think they're like visco, visco. I'm not even going to try and say it because I don't know how to. But they're just like super stretchy and super comfortable and I do actually sleep in these leggings so I picked up two more. I'm not really a pyjama kind of person, I'm a leggings and an oversized t-shirt kind of person. Next up on the boring basic purchases, I got two, two of the oversized men's t-shirt. Um, I got mine in a 2XL and they are £2.50 each, literally a bargain. Um, I wear these like under hoodies and such, thought I'd get two more pairs of those. And next we have three colourful t-shirts because I like to sleep in more colourful t-shirts, not just the black ones. I actually don't sleep in the black ones, I sleep in the colourful ones, is what I'm trying to say. I got this grey one in a 3XL, these are also um, £2.50 each as well. And then I got this blue one in a 3XL. And then I got this kind of like mauve coloured one I think that's how you say it it's just like a muted purple colour and I loved this colour but they didn't have any left in a 3XL so I got a 2XL in this one and next we have a bag um I wasn't originally going to get a bag because I have way too many bags at this point it's actually a bit of a problem but I saw this I loved it and then I saw that it was on sale from £7 to £4, so that kind of convinced me to get it. Uh, it's just like a bum bag style bag. It has a zip on the back or the front, depending on which way you want to wear it, but I wear it this way. And it's got a adjustable strap, so you can have it crossbody or just on your shoulder, which is how I wore it yesterday, actually. And next, of course, I have some nails. I have four pairs. Um, I have these ones that I actually have on now. They're like nude with black hearts on and I dare say these are my favourite ones that I own. I have had them before but you only get like so many wears out of them then you have to bin them and I saw that Primark had them again so I got more and they are back on my hands um, and these ones were £2. And then I got these ones. Oh! fell on the floor and um, they're like gold design with like little white flowers these ones were £3.50 and then the ones that fell on the floor are just some plain um pink ones they're like a light pink because I do have dark pink but I don't have light pink and these ones are £1.30 and then I have these ones they're like pink designed french tips with like little gems on and these ones £3.50. And then the last thing that I got from Primark is of course another of the bralette sets. These are literally the only bras that I wear. They are so comfortable. However, I don't wear the underwear. I just wear the bra. So I'm kind of paying £6 just for the bra. 
but that's okay because I love them so much that six pound is absolutely fine. Um, and that is everything from Primark. So now I'm gonna move on to Beauty Bay. I haven't shopped on Beauty Bay in such a long time, but I needed a new like white eyeliner. So I went on for brows and I found this one. This is the Graph Ink liner from Made by Mitchell. And it's in the shade Milk, obviously, because I needed a white one. Well, it looks like this. And this was £9.60 in the sale. And then while I was browsing, I found this palette, which was in the sale for £6.95. And I thought that is an absolute bargain. So I thought I'd get it because it has like such nice colours in it. They're so bright and I think it is, yeah, it's called Bright 2.0 palette. And I love the colours, so I thought I would get this to do my makeup looks with because I'm trying to get back into makeup. So I got this. And then the last thing that I got from there is my favourite mascara, which is the Maybelline Lesson. The Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And this is the other mascara that I use. I absolutely love it. And I have loved it for many years. And this was £9.95. So now we are going to move on to Boohoo. And the first thing is actually the hoodie that I am currently wearing. I will pop a photo of the back because the back is like the main event. It has like a little bear on the back and I absolutely love this hoodie it is from the men's plus section which i do love to buy my hoodies from the men's plus section because they just fit perfectly like exactly how i want them to and they're always like such a good length this one was 17 pounds 50 in the sale and then i also got another black hoodie it is just plain black at the moment but it is actually supposed to have this here like on the front just below the hood Again, I'll pop a photo of it so that you can kind of see what it looks like. But unfortunately, I have washed this and this fell off. It's not a problem. I can stitch it back on. But I did wash it inside out as well with the hope that it wouldn't like pull and rip off. But it did anyway. Uh, but again, I love the way that this fits. This isn't from the men's plus section. This is just from the women's range. Um, just standard range. Um... But I did get it in a 3XL and also I got this one in a 3XL as well. I didn't say that. I'm not actually going to try any of this stuff on. I'm just kind of popping in photos of what it looks like. Mainly because I can't really be bothered um, <laughs> to try it all on and film the try on clips. Um, but just know that it fits like a dream and I love it. And also that was £24 in the sale. And next I have literally one of my favorite purchases that i've ever got from boohoo like i am utterly obsessed with this it is this knitted hoodie it just says official on it and it's gray with white details white strings and white like you can see the lines like the design of it and i've wanted a knitted hoodie for such a long time it reminds me of the sisters and seekers one you know which one i'm on about i'm sure you've seen it before and I love it. It's still got the tag on because it actually came today. Uh, I also got this in a 3XL and this is also from the men's plus section. And when I say this fits perfectly, it fits perfectly. Like lengthwise, exactly what I want in a hoodie. And I'm so obsessed with it. And I love it. And I'm sure that you will see this on if you follow me on TikTok. Because I do a lot of get dressed with me's. And I'm sure everything that I've mentioned or shown in this video will be in one of those outfit videos. So if you do want to see it on, you can follow me on TikTok if you want. But I cannot wait to wear that. I keep forgetting to say the prices of things. That was £25. I'm not sure whether it was in the sale or not. I don't think it was. Uh, but it might have been. That was everything from Boohoo. Now moving on to Ego, which I don't really shop on Ego very often. But I was just having a browse and I stumbled across these. They are flared, or not flared, wide leg fake leather joggers, trousers kind of thing. They have two white lines like down the side, which remind me of the Adidas ones, you know, with the poppers that open. But they don't have poppers. And 
they have elasticated waistband and a drawstring and as soon as i saw them i absolutely loved them and i got these in a size 12 and they fit really well you can wear them high-waisted or low-waisted depending on your preference i prefer high-waisted they were originally 44 pounds but i got like a pop-up that said like 35 percent off if you do this or something i don't know so i got 35 percent off which they came to like 29 pounds ish i think so that's like near enough half the price of what they originally were so i thought that was quite good also they did smell a little bit when i first got them out of the packet but i just left them to like air for two days and then i washed them inside out even though it says that you can't wash them you can it's fine i just washed them inside out and then i left them to dry and now they don't smell at all like at all they don't even have a lingering smell they smell completely fine and that is the only thing that i got from ego next up is pretty little thing so the first things that i got is actually from doll beauty but pretty little things sell doll beauty products and i got two of the push popping eyeliners because i had the black one and it exploded it went everywhere all over my dressing table all over me it just exploded so I needed to get a new black one and it's in the shade licorice black and then i also saw that they had the brown one and i know that like brown eyeliner is quite popular and it's more like of a subtle sort of color so i also got the one in cocoa crush and this is the one that i've been leaning towards wearing most of the time as opposed to the black one so i got both of these and these were 11 pounds each and then the next thing is actually a perfume from Makeup Revolution. I didn't even know Makeup Revolution did perfumes, but I know that Pretty Little Thing sell quite a few of them. And the bottle is so cute. This is what the bottle looks like. Let me just zoom in for you. I absolutely love it. Like they're all different colours and stuff depending on which one you get. And it comes with a little hair bobble with an R on but I've just left it on there because I just think that looks so cute. I'm not sure which one this is. I'm not sure if they have names, they probably do, but I can't see it, but it's just the light pink one that fades into clear. And this one smells so nice and it was 12 pounds. And then I recently got another one as well and it came in this like little box because it came as a set with a little candle as well and this was actually on sale for nine pounds so i thought i'm gonna get another one because it's on sale this one it didn't come with a bobble though um i'm not sure why maybe it's because it's a set or maybe only that one comes with a bobble i don't know uh, but i also got this one it's like a marble design one and i love it and it also smells insane this one on the bottom says timeless and this one says revolutionary are they the fragrances do we think it could be if so this one's revolutionary and this one's timeless i feel like i feel like we've cracked it i feel like that's i feel like that's the fragrance name because this candle is called timeless i think that's the one it smells so nice and they are really affordable for perfumes so i highly recommend and next up i got these red lacy tights which is a bit random for me because i don't really wear red very often but i had a vision for like a valentine's day outfit that i kind of want to wear so i saw these and i thought that would be very nice so i got these and i kept them in the little cardboard thing that they came in because i got these today as well well they came in the post today along with the perfume and these were £4.50 and next we have this white scarf which I believe was £15 but I can't find it on the website anymore and I also can't find how much I paid for it but the other ones on there are around £15 so I'm guessing these are also £15. It is just a plain white creamy scarf I keep saying white slash cream because I think it's white but it kind of looks cream so I feel like it's a very, very, very pale cream. But I love it and I really wanted a plain white scarf. If you watched my 
previous Primark video, I did say that I went into Primark looking for a plain white scarf and I couldn't find one. So I got one from Pretty Little Thing. I love it. It's the thing from Pretty Little Thing. Are these jeans? They are the boyfriend style jeans and they look a lot more grey on the website than they do in person. And I have actually had these before, but I sold them because they didn't fit properly. Um, but I recently got them again because I really liked them. But when I got them the previous time, they were a lot more grey than they are now as well. So I don't really know what's happened. They're kind of like a neutral grey nude. They do look grey on camera, but they aren't as grey as they are on the website is what I'm trying to say. But they have rips at the knees. And again, I'll pop a photo on so you can kind of, you'll probably be able to see the difference from the photo. Uh, but I got these in a size 10. They were £25 in the sale. So the last place that I have things to show you from is Shein. And of course, we are starting with bags. I got this silver one because I needed one for work that isn't big but isn't too small because all the bags I had were too small to take to work and I had one like tote bag but that was too big so I needed like a medium sort of sized and then I saw this one and I got it and it was £8.75 and then still on the bag category I also got this grey one this was 11 35 and I love this size bag because you can literally fit everything you need in it and this is the last bag I promise but it is this a pink like a bum bag style bag and it has a chain and then a long strap. I actually got this to wear on my birthday. My birthday isn't until April mind, but I guess I just like to be prepared. But also the next item that I'm going to show was going out of stock and this matches the next item. So I thought I'd get this as well as getting the next item which i am going to show this was 6.95 and the very last thing are these pink fake leather knee-high boots these are absolutely insane i love them so much and i planned to wear them on my birthday like i said but i saw that they were going out of stock and i panicked and i bought them so now i'm just gonna have to wait until april to wear them i absolutely love them and these were £23.18. I think they were originally about £30, but I got like discounts and stuff like you always do on Sheen. And I got mine in a size 6 in case you were wondering and they fit perfectly. And honestly, I cannot wait to wear them. And I thought they would match this bag like perfectly. I'm not going to give away the whole outfit that I'm going to wear on my birthday, but these are definitely one part of it and so is the bag and that is everything that I have to show you in this video I feel like this is going to be one of my longer videos because I actually had a lot more than I thought I was literally looking around being like oh I don't have enough for a haul but actually I think I had too much but I hope that you enjoyed the video anyway make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video bye